Um, you know, what did you kind of say to him? How, how much do you do you feel for him in his position and his bid to turn things round at this club? I didn't speak with him. We we'll speak uh, next day. So uh, what what can I say? So all our position as a manager, we have to be judged for the results. Everybody knows it. I'm not the guy who Mikel needs to be defend because he doesn't defend himself perfectly. Only I can say that uh, uh, I was with him a uh, long period, the most successful period that this club, our club had in the history in a row. And and we cannot understand the success that we had without him. I learned a lot of him uh, more than a, an incredible human being is an incredible manager. And sometimes our job, we need, uh, we need time. He won two titles. And after this season with a pandemic situation, no fans here, many injuries they had. And, uh, but I know his proposal. I know what we want to do. And just stand to be patient. So I'm not the guy who said what they have to do. But uh, not even a, a, a little run, bad results for a short period of time. We're going to change the opinion I have on, on him. He's an outstanding manager. Uh, incredible work ethic, uh, put the club in front of any other decisions he has to make. And, and uh, you know, but again, I'm not here to defend him because he can defend, defend him himself perfectly uh, on and off the pitch. Thank you, Ian. And do we have anyone else with raised hands? No one's uh, got their, their raised hands function. Okay, we have uh, James Burford. Hi, Pep. Uh, it was a, a very professional performance. What pleased you most about the win tonight? Well, it's not professional. You have to run a lot. You have to be professional, of course. So, by the second goal, it was a the keeper was a, you know uh, the situation you had. The third goal maybe is offside. So, this kind of games, this kind of situation changed the game. So, I think we have started. 15, 20 minutes quite well, a part of the goal early on, when not even worse seed, we score a goal. And after that, they changed the setup, they passed to the five back, back five to back four, and uh, we create, we had more problems to find our spaces. They didn't create much, but uh, we were not fluidity. We changed something in the half time. The way we tie, we put one more player in the position that we need, that we needed, and, uh, and, and we were much better. Uh, a part of the second or third goal that we were lucky and uh, yeah we are in the semi-finals it is important for us uh, Mike Minet Radio Manchester Hi Pep um, obviously the semi-final dates remain for the League Cup but they moved the final back to April two days before a potential Champions League semi-final I wonder whether you've got any thoughts on that should you progress that far well, one step of time, please. It's already been in April. In April, I don't know who will be. So now it's Newcastle and, and Everton and just today's different. And uh, first after, we'll see the draw. Important to be there. And we're going to play to reach another time uh, for four years ago, for four years uh, in a row in a, in a final. Okay, do you have any more for the embargo, guys? Okay, in which case I'll call that 10.30 embargo then, which is for Friday the 25th. Questions on the Newcastle game.